Area man charged with stealing the truck of two missing Wisconsin men will stay behind bars. Today, a judge refused to give Garland Joey Nelson the option of bonding out. On Friday, authorities said the missing men, Nick and Justin Diemel, were presumed dead, though no one has been charged yet with killing them. Investigators begin searching the farm that Nelson operates soon after they discovered the men's truck abandoned in the next county over, and Nelson admitted to driving it off. As KCTV 5's Betsy Webster reports, people who know Nelson say it's hard to imagine any possible involvement in the men's demise. Bramer, Missouri is a town of roughly 900 people. This doesn't happen in Bramer. I mean, we all know everybody, you know. As many as 50 of them turned out to get answers firsthand at today's media briefing. I never thought in the world that you know, something like this would ever happen. Joey Nelson runs the farm just outside of Bramer that charging documents suggest is likely the last place the Wisconsin men had visited during their weekend business trip before they vanished. We do know that they were there for a uh, business deal for cattle. Um, during that transaction, we do not know what exactly occurred yet. We're working to find that all out. He says the Nelson property spans 74 acres. Investigators have had tents up and lights on overnight for nearly a week now. Rumors around town have become rampant and disturbing. We've heard, you know, multiple stories as to what could have happened, what might have happened. You, know, you wake up in the middle of the night and that's what you're thinking about. Neighbors knew that Nelson had spent two years in a minimum security branch of Leavenworth Federal Prison for cattle fraud. But that was a financial crime, not a violent one. Nelson spoke about that in an Iowa public television station report after he was released last year. I thought, well, at the worst case scenario, I've done something that I broke a rule in a loan didn't commit a crime. I didn't, you know, go out and rob a bank or anything like that. Most of us get over our head one time or another, but that's how you learn how to swim. He's a retired rancher who goes to church with Nelson and his family. I can't believe that he would have had the capabilities of doing uh, what maybe everybody, a lot of people think he's been accused of. They did not get the definitive answers they were hoping for. Most of the significant questions like, what prompted you to start calling this a death investigation, were questions that the sheriff either could not or would not answer, citing the sensitive and ongoing nature of the investigation. Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.